Hello all. Uh, I just want to go through uh, another project uh, with you and it's to do with um, shooting in the direction that uh, you click. So here you go. I'll give you an example. Uh, here's my guy, my guy standing there and if I click and I'm using the right mouse key, if I right click here, you see that the bullet sort of shoots towards the mouse. So wherever I click, <coughs> excuse me, uh, um, the bullet shoots towards uh, the mouse. Okay, let's have a have a look at at the code for that. Um, so here's the, here. Let me just stop this. Here's our our character. Stop it. There you go. Here's our character, and the character has a the player controller script attached to it that you should be familiar with now. And it also has this new click and shoot script, which I called it. Uh, you have to pass in uh, the projectile that you want to shoot. Um, and I have one created in my prefoot, perhaps somewhere, I think, yeah, there you go, projectile. Uh, that's going to be the bullet. You want the tip of the gun, so I think I've set the gun tip to just in front of the, the character, where it is, gun tip, I think, of, yeah, there it is, just, just here at this point. And you also have to specify the force of the bullet, so it's given it 50. And wherever I click, I figure out where I click, and a bullet is, is shot from the point of the gun towards uh, towards that click. Okay, here's the the code for it. Uh, click and shoot. So here are the things you have to pass in a, a missile, a gun tip, and a force. Notice that the missile isn't of type game object. Um, the missile has to be of type bullet. So what I've done, which I think is actually quite clever, is here is my uh, projectile, and my projectile has a script on it of type bullet. And that script has a sort of has a fire function on it. So I, I didn't want you to specify just any old uh, projectile. I didn't want you to just create a game object and, and put it in here and say that's my bullet. I wanted you to specify a game object that has the, the bullet uh, script attached to it. So that's why I have set the missile to be a bullet. So in other words, you pass in a game object and it will take the bullet script off that. Um, there's the gun tip. Uh, it was transfer to complete the and the and the fire force. I'm going to come back to these in a minute. These are this ray cast arc scan and the player controller, but you can ignore it for the time being. And this essentially is what happened. And again, I'll, I'll come back to uh, yeah, this I'll come back to this bit uh, later. So when you click on the right mouse button, um, it it gets that's how you get where the mouse is clicked. You say get me where the the mouse is positioned. The mouse's position is the screen position. So um, the screen, the bottom left-hand corner is zero zero uh, on the screen. So, um, and this, so, so that's yeah, that's the 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 zero zero of the screen. So when you click on on a screen, uh, you're given the screen position of the mouse, and you need to convert that to the world position. And in the world position, of course, zero zero is the middle um, of our world. So I have, and so there's a screen to world screen to world point function which is on the main camera so I go camera dot main the screen to world point and I pass in the screen position uh, of the mouse and it gives me back the world position so in other words it gives me back a position sort of as we know it in the scene here um, so I get that target position and then I call this function fire at and I and I specify the target position so again I'll come back to all of this in a, in a moment and then the fire at uh, function, it just instantiates this missile game object. It puts it at the gun tip. It quite uh, its rotation is zero. Um, then it gets the, the the bullet script off the new bullet. So it gets the new bullet script off this new bullet. Um, so there you go. It's getting the bullet script off it. And then it's calling the fire function on this bullet script, and it's passing in the the force that you want to fire at, and the position where you want to fire to, that's the, the target. And now if we look at bullet, there you go, there's the fire for bullet. What it does is it gets the target direction, so the direction of where you want to fire, and then it normalizes that. So let me talk about this line just for a second. And I have something prepared already for that. So here you go, here's a drawing. And here you see uh, the player in blue and there is the tip of the gun, the gun tip. And it's at position 5, 2. So come out X, 5, Y, 2. So this here, this 
green arrow here is the vector 5 2 remember all vectors start at 0 0 so you only need the endpoint so that's the, the vector 5 2 let's call it a and when you're specifying vectors by the way mathematically they, they, they typically put an arrow over it so let's call this vector a arrow which is 5 2 now this is where let's pretend this is where I clicked so in the world coordinate system that would be 10 5 so out 10 up 5 so this line here represents uh, the vector 10 5 that's where I clicked now if I subtract this vector let's call this vector B if I subtract B uh, sorry a from B so if I sub sub subtract this vector from this vector it gives me this vector which is sort of the other side of that triangle so from here to here so let's call that vector C so it's that vector now that vector here that's the direction I want to shoot in. I want to shoot up here because that's where I take so that's why I subtracted them now that vector there is exactly the same as this vector here except for I the vector starts at zero zero yeah see that look they're, they're both at exactly the same uh, angle except this one starts here uh, but this one starts at at, at zero zero so that that's actually the same vector it's pointing in its its length is the same and it's pointing in exactly the same direction this vector here is a normalized version of that so a normalized ve version of a vector is essentially taking the vector and shrinking it so that it fits into a box one by one uh, that's a normalized vector so again you'll notice that the vector is actually pointing in the same direction it's just its length is is different and that's what I want that's the I don't need a big long arrow to say that's where I want to shoot I just need a little arrow uh, because because whether it is long or short the direction of it is is, is still the same so I use the normalized uh, vector so there you go I get there's the the target vector that's the 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 vector of the the gun I subtract them that gives me this new vector and then I normalize it so I sort of shrink it down uh, so that it's no bigger than one one and that's the direction I want to shoot in and then I take that direction and I multiply it by fire uh, by the fire force now it's just worth noting if I didn't normalize it let's say I take the normalized version and I multiply it by a fire force of a hundred so now this would become like you know a hundred long or just under a hundred long whereas if I didn't normalize it and let's say the length of this is 10 and I multiplied it by a hundred then the fire force is uh, then the, the the force is going to be you know a thousand in, um, as opposed to the normalized one would be a uh, hundred so it's important that I, I, I normalize it so that's the direction yeah that I want to sort of uh, shoot in so then I apply a force in that direction I multiply it by the fire force that will give you its strength and I apply it and boom off the bullet goes in that direction and then I also have a on became invisible so when the bullet goes off the screen I just destroy the, the game object and that's it so again play it and when I click so sort right of here did it doesn't actually shoot these out I haven't put in any code to actually shoot these out but when I when I play it so when you uh when i click here now um it's going to take to, let's present where zero zero let's see where zero zero is actually uh zero zero is uh about here somewhere i think my, is my main camera at zero zero my main camera is i'll put my main camera at zero zero there you go there is zero zero so we 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 that's the vector of the gun just there that's zero zero so that's be the position of the gun if I click here then that would be the vector where I click and then I get when I subtract them I get the vector that joins them up I normalize it and then multiply it by the fire force and boom up the bullet goes in that direction that's it it's it's as it's as straightforward as that okay I want to show you a second script and this is complicated script I wouldn't expect you to write this code uh, so I'm just giving it to you um, um, for you to use if you wanted some someone was looking for something like this uh, that's why I wrote it okay so there's another script so I'm going to get my character I've written another script where is it in here and it's called uh, raycast as scan so in we go I'll take my character uh, 
and I will just put this raycast as scan onto it. Okay, so here I'll just show it to you first. Um, so now what happens is as I click, watch up here in, in this window, in the in the scene window, the game scene window here. Look, when I click, you see it sort of spec it starts scanning out. And what it does is it starts shooting out lots of rays to determine have I hit anything. And if I'm facing the other way and I and I click, it's not it's just sending out scans in sort of an arc, yeah, to see have I hit anything. Now I can modify this. I can um let me go to it again. Where is it? Ray cast scan. Um, yeah, so I could say, you know, I want you to cast from the gun tip. So again, let me just stop this for a second. I can say I want all casts to come from the gun tip. Uh, I want you to start the start arc angle at 90. And so, sorry, the starting uh, angle is 45. So that's straight up is zero. 45 would be like a half past one if the large hand was at half past one it's up, up there and I want it to go 90 degrees so it will go all the way to there so again if you look at it now it's got, we should see all of the scans watch up here coming from the gun tip yeah it's coming from the gun tip and they go up the first one is at 45 degrees and then I go across 90 I can I can change this of course I can say things like I want the first the angle to start at zero. Now if I click, see the way they go straight up, um, but I'm going to leave it at uh, 45. I can also set the number of segments, so let's if I change this to 5, you'll see that there's not as many R rays being cast, there's now only 5, but if I set it to like, you know, 12 for example, there's 12 rays being cast, so it's much more high fidelity we call it there's, there's a better chance of hitting something so the idea here is that when you want to shoot you right click and it will it will send out all of these ray casts to see if you got if you hit something now why did I do it this way well a single ray can just is like a line um, I wanted to sort of scan in an area I didn't want to I could have used a collider to D object but a collider to D object like say a circle collider to D would scan all around me I just wanted to scan sort of in an arc, so I, I wrote th this code to do it. Um, and now what happens is when you come up here to uh, these two targets, I, I've, I've tagged these as targets. Actually, no, I need to put them in here as a target. There you go. So I want it. This is the layer I want to want you to detect. Let me stop this again. Make sure it's I'm at layer. Uh, targets and make sure that my green dots there you go they're on the layer targets so now what happens is when I click it's going to do a scan uh, based on those settings that I have set here and it will see have, have I hit anything and if I have it will shoot a bullet towards the nearest one Look, there you go, and it's shooting it towards this one. Now, if I was to get that green dot, and if I was to say move it over here, oh, I've got a bunch of them actually. If I get this green dot and move it up there. Now, if I if I shoot, it shoots at this one because this one is now nearest. So all it's doing is doing a scan, and of course, it it, it faces the right direction. So now, when I click, it doesn't shoot towards where I click. It just does a scan. To see, have you got? Is there an, oh, is there anything nearby? And if it is, it shoots at the nearest one. Look, nothing in, within range. Of course, I can change the range here, but as well, if I uh, increase the radius here to a bigger number, but it's currently set to five, so it's nothing is in range. But the minute I come in range, there you go. It starts shooting towards the nearest one. And if I'm, if I'm very close, and there's a lot of them. Uh, if it's detecting a lot of them, it'll, it'll just hit the, it'll just shoot towards the nearest one. And again, I don't have any code to actually destroy the, the coin when it's it's hit, but you you'll be able to do that. Um, um, and all of the, I won't go through the code for you. It's can, it's a little bit complicated, but it's all very well commented. But really, I wouldn't expect you to write this code. Um, but you you're 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 more than free to to use it. Okay, that's it.